Zinco, who have very, very kindly come together with this initiative to give no less than four of these fabulous sculptures to various communities around the country. So we've got a great morning for it, we've got a great sculpture, and I have a great co-host this morning. <laughs> Which means I might get a free cup of tea later. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say that it's great to see so many of you here, particularly the kids that have come from school, getting a few lessons off there. Well done, all of you. <laughs> but it's also brilliant to see the community so involved in where they live. And I was saying on the radio earlier, it's very easy for people to sit back and moan because they don't like what's going on in their community. And it looks like here, the community have actually got involved and made a beautiful space for everybody else. And I, I think that in itself deserves a round of applause. Yeah. I'm really pleased to be involved in this Kenko campaign is because, as, as many of you know that watch wildlife, this is a, not only is it a great piece of sculpture, but it looks very great. I mean, this is a cuddly crab. You could ask me which species it was earlier. <laughs> I'm going to conduct a full anatomical examination a little later. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to say it looks rather like an edible crab, but of course it will never be e eaten. But another reason the Kenya and I are very pleased to be involved is a slightly more serious one, and that is that we all know there's tremendous pressures on the environment. And again, rather like some people sit in their communities and moan about everything and not actually do anything, here you've acted in your community to make a difference and Kenko have acted to make a difference too. The reason that they've commissioned these four sculptures, including the one from Lois here, is to celebrate the fact that they've designed some new jars. <laughs> but the new, the new jars use considerably less glass in them. And they're able to save 900 tonnes of glass a year. Now that means they're saving materials and equally importantly, they're saving energy in terms of their production. So our lifetimes, we're seeing real positive change taking place. Look out here, I can see the wind farm using sustainable energy. All of these developments are exciting and they're worth celebrating. What we hope is that this initiative will work for Kenko and they'll spread it out even further and then it doesn't matter if other companies jump on the bandwagon because the bandwagon is moving towards significant Progress. So this again, rather like your empowerment here to improve this resource, shows Kenko's empowerment to say, yes, we can make a difference, we can save resources, we can save energy, and we can still deliver all the products uh, without any compromises. So that's great. Creating an excellent environmental condition. Amazing. 